What's going on guys, Sunday Game here with another episode of Final Fantasy X. In the last episode, we salvaged the airship and we were taken uh, by Sin from Riku in the Albed to Besaid Island and we met Waka in the Besaid Orox and he took us to the village to get some food and we met the Crusaders and now we are back. Now, this is going to be a very, very, very boring, not really boring, I don't think it's boring. We're going to be doing the trial today, and, and it's, it just takes a little while, and it's just something we're going to have to get through to get back to the actual game. Not a lot of battles, probably no battles this, this episode at all. You can buy some stuff here. Um, we don't really need to. Yeah, I mean, we're good. I'm not going to buy anything. Um, I thought I'd check it out just to see exactly what we, they had to offer, but I was looking for a little bit more, something that would, um, you know, take care of just poison, instead of just poison, maybe something a little different. But, you know, let's go inside and see what's up. I don't believe there's any items or anything we can find in here anyway. I hope everyone's having a good day. It's still pretty early in the morning. We're going to be running episodes for a little while here. At least for another um, hour or two. Just get, you know, get a little ahead on our releases. And, uh, you know, get some gaming in. I'm excited. It's going to be a good time. We got the Hymn of the Faith, which is always a classic. I love, uh, I used to hum this to my daughter when she then, was born. standing in that place. Always put her to bed. I began to realize how different this world was from my own. Yes, it is. All right. So usually in most places. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Braska looking OG. Ten years have passed since Lord Braska became High Summoner, and finally we receive a statue for our temple. Oh, what's a High Summoner? Uh, like, how dare uh, you I, not I got too close to Sin's uh, toxin. I think I was like, why are you so close to me? <laughs> it was funny hearing myself make the same excuse over and over. Funny, and a little sad. Let's just go with mostly the sad. The summoners are practitioners of a sacred art, sworn to protect the people of Yevon. Mm hmm. Only a chosen few become summoners, who call forth entities of great power, the Aeons. The Aeons awesome, hear yes. our prayers and come down to us. They are the blessing of Yevon. So what he meant... ...was that we should respect some kind of great men, or something like that, I figured. Good listening comprehension, Titus. You spot on. Where I was going was, some of these, usually with the temples, they have chests in the opposite rooms, but th this one they do not. Even searching the scriptures of Yevon, I have found no cure for sin's toxin. May the blessing of Yevon guide you to health, friend. Yeah, because I don't think it exists. I honestly think it's something they made up. Granted, we do see someone later in Kilika Village where they are affected by the toxin and they are legit like super super pissy <laughs> um so maybe it is real i personally don't think it is we, we become close to send so many times and none of our friends get the toxin none of our party members ever fall victim to send toxin and we're, we get surrounded by him many times so we present ourselves to the summoner though so we can go back to waka and see if we can finally get some food let's take a big guess we're not gonna be able to eat we have to do other things first because why not? This is <laughs> this is an old school RPG. We never get what we want. We get destiny thrown at us, and everything else kind of becomes secondary. Even eating. Let's go inside of our little hut, and I believe he's gonna make us take a nap. Sorry, man. No time for lunch yet. That was a no take time a for nap. lunch. You look bushed. Yeah, we look bushed because we're starving to death. You could at least go see how they are doing. We can't interfere. It's a rule. But 
It's been nearly. Man. Flashback. But, but it's, it's been, been nearly. It's been nearly a day already. Perhaps you could go look for us. People are searching for him now. Thank you. Oh. Who cares whether he comes back or not? But he might die. Fine, let him. Little Titus is a G. Mother logic. <laughs> we wake up nice and refreshed. Waka? Waka's gone. Let's go check out the temple again and get to it. Luckily, this is the first one, so it's super, super easy. Doesn't take a lot, long time to get through either. Um, just lot we once we get out of Besaid, it'll really pick up a little bit. Obviously, you know, since it's a Final Fantasy game, it's a little cutscene heavy. Um, we're just gonna have to bear through the storms and, and you know get to the, the interesting parts. But we'll be okay. Is something wrong? The summoner hasn't returned from the trial. Eh? Well, apprentice summoner, really. Huh? There's a room in there called the Cloister of Trials. Beyond is where the Apprentice Summoner prays. If the prayer is heard, the Apprentice becomes a fully-fledged Summoner. Remember? Uh, so someone is in there somewhere, and they haven't come back out. Right, I got it. A day's already gone by. Is it particularly dangerous in there? Sometimes, yes. Why don't you go in and help? There's already Guardians in there. Besides, it's forbidden. Yep, me go. Forget all that forbidden hey, nonsense. but what if something happens? What if the summoner dies? The precepts must be obeyed. Like I care. And hey, we have a good heart. We can't stand by and just watch and hear about um, a regular person just dying Maybe over doing their job. This wasn't you know, such like, a good idea. We won't after stand all. for it. Very admirable. All right, closer to trial. Let's do this. So, let's press the glyph. Awesome. And now we can make the wall go up. And we can continue. Wow. Okay. Man. And let's see what we have here and get the description of all the glyphs. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Yes, they are. And we got the blue sphere. We only can carry one sphere at a time. We know this. And open sesame. Now, if I remember correctly, we have to... We can't put it there. We put it... Oh, touch the symbols. Make mistakes. Alright, I believe you... That's the safe sphere. I believe you go in here. Or it doesn't. Hmm. I'm trying to remember. Okay. And we're not going to take care of that just yet. Awesome. Very cool floaty notes. 
and we are going to take... Okay, not you. Maybe it's you we need. I believe it's you. Okay, yeah, the glyph. Alright. And it'll go up. I knew I should just grab that from the jump. My memory's a little funky. But let's go grab our destruction sphere. If you, in every... Cloister of Trials, you can use the Destruction Sphere to find hidden treasure. By finding these hidden treasure, it unlocks the glyph at the Bosch Temple, where we started the game after we got in the Spira. And it, once you get all of them, you will be able to unlock Seymour's Great Aeon Anima, which is vicious, it's super strong. Uh, it takes a while. The only one we're really going to have to worry about is the one in Bavel, since it's easy to miss. Um, but we should be okay. And we got the Rod of Wisdom for Yuna. Nice. And that's the first seal that we've broken. Beautiful. And, uh, there it is. Boom. Closer of Trials completed. Hey! It's gotten into you. You should be very impressed that we were able hey, to okay. finish that so easily. Only first summoners, time we've been here. apprentice summoners, and their guardians can enter here. It's a tradition. Very important. So, what about you? Me? I'm a guardian. A guardian? He's like, I don't know, man. Whatever. It's not even. Uh, it's not my choice. I promise you. <laughs> Lulu is mean. Whoa! whoa ah! Someone has gone on a pilgrimage to pray at every temple in Spira. Guardians protect them. The guardians in there now. One of them's got a sure fuse, and who knows what the others thinking. Well, now that we come this far, might as well go all the way. I hear you, dude. Don't back down, even if you might get yelled at a lot by scary people. He Im immediately regrets the decision. <laughs> Didn't think we'd be able to handle it. No, it's uh, it's just. See, I told you she gets mad easy. He's just like, I'm blue. Is the summoner all right? Who are you? Oh. I remember this scene from the commercials for the game before it came out, and it was just like, wow, the graphics. I can't believe it's not in, like, 2-bit fake 3D BS. It looks real good. Yuna, everybody. Waifu, number one. In my book. In this game, at least. Man, was I surprised. Mm -hmm. And here I was thinking summoners were all old geezers. Let's go see the show. We have a new summoner on our hands, guys. We should be very, very excited about this. Hey, over here. Let's see what we got. And we get the ultimate headlock. <laughs> what? Uh, uh, ow. Bro. Wait till we you got see this. the bromance is strong already. Yeah, They've been friends anything. for like 30 minutes. Ready. 
You do not just put you does not put random strangers in headlocks okay. for no reason. Even if they enjoy, join, agree to join your team, you don't just put them in headlocks. It's not nice. He's like, we're not impressed. Skills. One day, guys. Be the I promise it will be the last video I put out. Me summoning one of these things. <laughs> so cool. And there's Veil 4, guys. What should we name Veil 4? I don't know. Hmm. What even is he? Kind of like a dragon, bird, thing. He looks super cool. And he likes us. Well, he likes Yuna. Yeah, I mean. Incredible. I had never seen anything like it in my life. Sure, it was a little scary, but still, I could feel a strange kind of gentleness coming from it. Awesome. All right, guys, so I don't want to go with Veil 4. I want to be a little bit more. So we have a bird giant. You know what? I'm a big One Piece fan. We were gonna call Veil Four King. He's not. He's not a Petrodon. King ate the Petrodon fruit. He's a Petrodon human. But it's the closest thing we got. K I N H. There we go. Hmm. King. Not really a Dragonite. Dragonair. No. That's cool. Confirm. We're gonna go with King. I remember that night we talked for the first time. My man's I didn't going know full then, swing already. But after that night, everything changed. For everyone. For me. Probably just you, dude. Maybe Yuna, too. But. <laughs> let me introduce you to the team. This guy here wants into the tournament so bad, I let him on the team. Uh huh. His memory's a little fuzzy, so don't mind him if he says anything odd. And we on, will. Say hi. I promise you that. Uh, hi guys. Hi. So what's our goal? To do our best. <laughs> nope. We got a new goal now. Our new best goal. Best face. In grace. Victory. Morons. To win every match, defeat every opposing team, to bring the, like the Crystal Chef Cup Ramsey back to football. our island. That's all we need to do to win. Easy, huh? Idiot. Victory! 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 I enjoy Waka's childishness. He's kind of a moron. Victory! 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 She's about it, though. Victory! Victory! I believe in us, though. Nice. And... Let's see here. Sure got the boys worked up, huh? Yes, we did. And we can't go anywhere, really. We have to go over here and talk to Yuna and get yelled at. You heathen! <laughs> Stay away from the summoner! Meanest lady You're ever. You're a bad man! <laughs> Why, though? <laughs> lady Yuna, be careful. But yeah. it was really my fault to begin with. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god. I'm Yuna. Thank you so much for your help earlier. Huh? Uh, I'm sorry about that. Wasn't that... Wasn't I not supposed to... Guess I kind of overreacted. Oh, no. I was overconfident. It's the cutest thing in the world. Um, I saw that Aeon thing. That's amazing. Uh, really? Do you think I can become High Summoner? We're like, absolutely, why not? We don't know anything. Lady Yuna, come play with me some more. When, um, okay, I'll wait. S 
So, tomorrow then. Tomorrow? We're going on the same boat, aren't we? Oh, really? We can talk more. Huh. You can tell me all about Sanerkind. And we will. We will. She's cute, yeah? Don't get no ideas. No promises there, big guy. Mm -hmm. Yep. Hey, but what if she, like, comes on to me? That's not going to happen. If you get tired, let me know. I had a bed made for you. Yeah, okay. Mm hmm. You'll see, Waka. You're a chump. When we were kids, though, whenever we got mad at each other, we always yelled, Stay away from the summoner! Every time. Followed by, You're a bad man! Whenever I got mad at my brothers or, like, my mm. sister got mad at me, just, Stay Wait, away from stone! You're a bad man! Classic lines. Everyone in my family really enjoys this game. Even the ones who didn't really play it too much. I played it so often. My brother play my older brother played it a few times. Love talking about it. Always funny. Great times. And we're just swinging away. Like we're so It's been a long time. Shouldn't have left you. What's going on, Yuna? Where's, Where's that, that boat? At the pier, all by yourself. Everything Fancy meeting you here. If it doesn't come soon. Are you really sure, sure this is okay? okay? Would, Would you take, take me, me to Xanarkand? Hey! <laughs> and he's just fake running in place. You said you'd go with me! <laughs> it's awesome. Oh, hey, I, uh... It's like, I have nothing to say. I thought Waka told you not to get any ideas. Cock block. I did. Word. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so you're, you're coming, coming with, with me. me. Hey, hey, stop, stop dreaming. dreaming! You, you with, with a, a woman? woman? You, you can't, can't even, even catch, catch a ball! Hurtful. Oh, what's oh, the matter? They literally transform into a little boy again. Who Gonna cowers cry like that? Again? Cry, cry. That's, That's the, only the only thing, thing you're, thing you're good, good for. for. Mm mm mm. I hate you. Huh? What'd, What'd you, you say? say? You, you have, have to speak, speak loudly. loudly. I hate you! Huh? Hurtful. That's, That's the spirit. spirit. You he's can like, do yeah. it. He got an instant he got an instant tension headache. And he's like, I gotta massage this shit out. Like I can't I can't. I do hate it. you! He's dead, okay? Dead. He does look a lot like Chapu. I was surprised too, the first time I saw him. But no matter what he looks like, he isn't Chapu. You shouldn't have brought him here in the first place. Yeah, but he needed our help. Excuses again? It's not an excuse, it's legit. He, it's, yeah, it's a fact. But... We needed help. That's it. No more. Enough, Waka. What's, what's the problem? Always mad about something. Unbelievable. So we save someone's life. So he saves my life. He saves Titus' life. Ugh. Gets the audit for it. Scary. Racist. Xenophobic. So, who's Chapu? Unbelievable. My little brother. Chapu. He looked like you. He's dead? He was with the Crusaders when they fought Sin last year. He didn't make it. I first heard on the day of the tournament. Oh, so that's why. Yep, I became Super a sad. guardian to fight sin, yeah? Revenge, then? That was the idea. <laughs> I'm more worried about a stupid game now than avenging my brother. Well, after the next tournament, I'll be a guardian full time. I know it kind of looks like I'm using you. But I'm not. I mean, once again, you saved her life. I mean, I owe you a lot. You really helped me out, you know? What I mean is... Thanks, Waka. Bromance. 
<laughs> Stop. You're embarrassing me. Cool. All right, so we are at an actual awesome part. So let's see here. Will we? Hmm. I suppose we can make it to the ship. That's fine. We are going to safety save. It would just be really whack to leave off here, so we're not going to. And let us adventure. I really thought, for reason I was like, we already have Yuna, even though it's saved, and we didn't have her. Give her that rod, though. And I'm not talking about Titus. Hey, sleepyhead. Something I want to give you. Whoa! You're giving this to me? Yeah, use it well. The coolest sword. That's the sword you gave Chapu. Well, he never used it. Where's Yuna? We're taking the same boat as Yuna, right? Why do we gotta wait here? Yuna came to this village ten years ago, when the last calm started. The calm? Since then, she's been like a little sister to me and Lulu. But she had the talent. She became an apprentice. Now, today, she leaves as a summoner. This is our journey. We should leave together. I hear that. She got boxes for days. You really don't need all that luggage. Ah, uh, they're not really my things. Th they're gifts for the temples we're to visit. This isn't a vacation, you know. I guess... I guess you're right. They get nothing! Okay, off we go! Man. It's sad, knowing the story. Alright. Oh, nice! Okay, we have, we have a few preemptive um, enemy attacks. It comes Just to now. understand all the characters, that's fine now. Hey, why don't you try out that sword I gave you? Alright. Kapow, kapow, on the hood. Boom. No problem! Not too shabby. You kept up with him pretty well. Might make a good guardian someday. I think you mean the best guardian there ever was. A flyer! My kind of customer. He's gonna destroy this bird. Dun 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 dun, dun killed the bird. One ex one little piece of experience left. Next fight though, I'm sure. We'll get another one before long, probably right now. No? Right now. Wow, alright. Took longer than I thought. Where'd that even fall from? That looks like trouble. Ha! <laughs> Watch this! Auto fail. Told ya! Only magic can beat that thing. I mean, we can beat it. You can't beat them down. Ever. You gotta use magic of an element. They do not. Magic? Element? Let's have our black mage show you what I mean. Mm-hmm. Lou, you're up. Clueless, aren't you? Good thing I'm here. Good thing you're here. Spells of ice work well against fire fiends. Thank and you. ice fiends are weak. Okay. You follow? We do follow. I get fire and ice, but what about lightning and water? Lightning and water are opposed, just like fire and ice. This one here is a water fiend, which means... You get zappity zap, 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 zap. Nice. Yeah. Lulu is so important for the majority of the game, and then Yuna just makes her almost obsolete. Well, not almost. Completely obsolete. But, that's fine. And we are going to increase our strength. At one point. We have the power now. And do we even have... Okay, we do have Yuna, so we are going to equip her with the Rod of Wisdom. That's way, way better. Like, not even close. It's like an 8% increase in our magic attack.
Take your time. It's so messed up. Let's get going, man. We're gonna wait. Huh? One day I'll know what kind of jail Waka's using to keep his hair up like that, because that's freaking crazy. What's going on? Clearly hiding something from us, but, you know, we're a little slow. And we're not from here, so we don't know anything. It's an ancient custom. People leaving the island pray here for a safe trip. Chapu didn't pray that day. Said he'd miss his boat. Dang. He's coming out of his brother like that. We're gonna pray too. I wonder what happens if we do just watch. Does it, would it make like some of the game more difficult? I don't think they have anything like that at this point in time in gaming. That'd be interesting that if like it, it made like the the Sin Tail boss more difficult or the underwater boss after that a little more difficult. It doesn't really don't really say. Let's uh, safety set. But safety save. We're off to see the boat or whatever, and we will be attacked by Kamari very soon. He's all extra hangry about something. He looks vicious at first, like, where's all this? The fury, though. I don't trust you. I don't like you. I'm gonna hurt you. We just beat the bricks off of each other for some reason. Pretty sure I can use my special on him too. Well, he uses a special on me. Yeah. It's actually perfect because I think we need eight of these to get to the next part. Um, to his next special. That was beautiful right there. Some of that overkill. See me in the streets, Kamara. You're a chump. You'll never be better than me. That's enough. Uh, what's with that guy? Kimari Ronso, of the Ronso tribe. He's learned the fiend's way of fighting. That's not what I meant. Yeah, at all. He's another Yuna's guardian. Huh? <laughs> Sometimes we don't understand him either. Kamari doesn't talk much anyway. Mm. But he has protected me since I was a child. Hmm. Awesome. Good man. All right, we have the metal shield and four ability spheres. Let's see how that metal shield stacks up against our current shield. And it's way better. Well, plus five percent defense. Not bad. Come on, let's get some more fights in here, please. Wow. Okay, maybe not. Eventually, we'll get there, guys. Not a lot of fights. We're gonna get a few here, but. It's all preemptive stuff. It's nothing we're choosing ourselves. Like this guy here. Yeah. A flyer. That's your department, right? Mm -hmm. True, 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 true. But why don't we let us some? <laughs> He's like, I don't know what to tell you. All right, so we were going to bring Yuna in. Your first real battle. Let's see some style. I need style. How about your first real battle? Yuna. Don't die, okay. please. We ju literally just left. You can't carry your lifeless corpse back. They'll never forgive us. All right, so <laughs> King, so what you got? All right. Oh, wow. Okay. That's fine. It's actually better that way. We're gonna have to make a detour and go back. Let's see. 
So we have all the black magic. With a regular attack, we can do Sonic Wings. It does delay the enemy's next turn and lets us go twice. Um, we are going to run that. Just to, you know, get those two next turns. Dodging skills? No dodging skills. There's no regular attack. I feel like we can pull them out at any time. That's actually a little farther off. Let's just attack them again. If I remember correctly, I think these guys might be... Actually, no, there's a sensor, so it's say. Yeah, some... There's another form of this enemy that's pretty weak to, uh... Fire. But this is not this one. Can a brother get crit though? 300. Ah. Oh, he's Sonic booming too. Maybe. Oh, okay, he's Sonic booming to even the scales back out since. We're going to get those two attacks off again. Dodge skills? And you know what? We're actually going to save our overdrive. We're not going to use it now. It would be nice to use, but we're not going to do it just yet. And victory. That's our, that's our Aeon, guys. King. Very cool. We got those eight points. We got Bright Ring. Okay. I believe that will protect us. Protect, uh, protect her from darkness. Yep, the Dark Ward. We're actually going to head back to Besaid. I forgot to grab King's other overdrive, which is actually perfect because that means we'll get a few more fights in there. It'll be a. Honestly, I don't think you can really be overpowered this early in the game, but it would be nice to get some more spheres. So, I mean, because at the beginning we do runs that problem a lot, that we won't be able to proceed on the sphere grid because we don't have enough nodes to actually activate the things that we're at. Um, granted, we just ran through two areas and didn't get anything. We can, I'm not going to safety save, but we are going to get our health back. And, uh, let's go back. Hopefully, it won't take too long. We're just gonna have to find the lady with the dog, and we'll be okay. I always forget about that for a second. Alright, guys. And, uh, it's... We don't unlock, unlock fast traveling for so long, but granted, for most of the times, you can't really run that far past where you are. Like, we, like once we leave here, we won't be able to come back here for so long, so we have to get it now, or we literally have to wait hours and hours later. Like, basically halfway, th a little bit more than halfway through the game until we can come back here. Where is she? She's usually somewhere over here, no? Maybe over here? No, are they inside, perhaps? This building? Is it you? Better hurry, yeah? No, we will not hurry. They will wait for us. It's literally locked. I understand. Um, I actually think it's this house. Here we go. All right, no, it's not the dog that I'm getting it from. It's from a, it's from the girl. Where is this person at? Not in Waka's place. Maybe in here? Is it you? No. She is actually a really good Blitzball player. You can recruit her later. She's a great goalie. Ah, maybe you? No. Man, did I miss out? I really hope I didn't miss out because it's a big waste of time if I did. No, I know I didn't because I know we can grab it now. I don't know. I don't know where this girl is. Where is she? This sucks. Oh. And she's like on the whole other side of the planet. Seriously, why are you all the way over here? I know this is it. I know she's it. Okay, never mind. Are we gonna have to go through with the. I mean, granted, does it do more damage? I honestly don't know. If it does. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. Um. You? 
No. Never like goodbyes. Me either. For real, where's the lady? Where's the, the dog lady? So. Oh, this is not, not cool. This will probably be empty. Man, are you serious right now? Do we just miss out for real? She's walking back, so is that the same person or. Man, I mean, this person should be locked towards uh, a certain area. Here she is, wait. Maybe, I, guess, I suppose it's not really such a big deal. I mean, my whole thing is, I don't know if it does more damage than his regular overdrive, but I really wanted it and I really thought we could get it here. Matter of fact, not I thought, I'm pretty sure we can get it here, I just don't remember. Um... Wow, okay, well I'm not gonna waste any more time on it, it's whatever. It's just an overdrive, and it's not like we're gonna be running the Aeon super crazy, that is something that I want to grab. Dang, that kind of sucks. Okay. Let's get out of here, though. That was a nice little chunk of wasted time, but you know, it is what it is. Sorry about that. Alright. Run like the wind. I want that, though. As much as I like the laser, I feel like that other move is so much cooler. I mean, why wouldn't we want the second one? I wonder if it's stronger or not. I'm gonna have to look that up. I'm gonna look that up after we're done recording, because I definitely want to know. I mean, granted, if we get on this boat, it's gonna be way too late. So, what we're gonna do... We are going to... Um... I think... I think we're going to wait to get on the boat, only because there's a lot of cutscenes. I don't want to take this episode much longer than we already have going. We're going to stop recording on the boat. There's a lot, there's a lot one to do on the boat. The boat, honestly, no may be one Leave more one me, huh? Just the boat. There's Say a lot of There's like two bosses. Uh, let's see, so... We're going to use Dark Attack. Make it more difficult to hit us. And we're going to burn them. Burn, baby, burn. Dodge that off, you know, is not fortunate enough. We don't have prey yet. We're gonna pull her out and bring ourselves back in. Burn him again. Well done, dodge skills. And we'll be able to tell that that darkness is gone because they won't have that mask on small ground their face anymore. Pretty obvious, but I just wanted to point that out. That was actually pretty simple. I thought it was going to take one or two more hits, but we really just tagged them up. Yeah, you maybe wouldn't have to do that if your dress was normal. Alright, and we have Waka. We'll increase our ability that speed, our agility. Come on, guys, get moving. We got both to catch. What do we have here? Okay, literally everything we need. We really don't need to switch anyone out. Once we get prayer. So I do like to, I want everyone to get a little bit more of experience, and um, Yuna needs to get stronger faster than anyone else because we start using her way more towards the end game. She kind of takes, like I said, she kind of overrides uh, Lulu in usefulness. Well, mostly because Lulu's celestial weapon is really difficult to get, and I don't know if you guys want to watch me try to get 
dodge 200 lightning bolts in a row. That's a lot going on, so um, we get Yuna's celestial weapon and we really just start using her exclusively. Um, but we got some more MP. But for now, no, we totally, totally, totally need Lulu really badly. She is like the MVP for a long time. All right. Make it back down to the beach. And we are going to end the episode here once we get back. All right. Safety save. Oh man, I mean, you know what? We're not. I'm sorry. I keep changing my mind, being super fickle. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do. It's just I know it's gonna take a while. Where's going? Where's going? Go on. And we talk to people. They do. They will give you stuff. Okay, not you. Maybe. You get from the temple. Seeker's ring. Awesome. We're gonna click that on you. That's pretty good. HP HP plus ten percent. We don't have to really worry about darkness too much because we attack. Uh, they're really leaving here. A farewell gift from all the village. Four hundred dollars. Oh, oh, you're too, you're too good to talk to us. Okay. Oh, there are so many things I want to tell her. Hey, you. The sea's crawling with fiends, so I'll give this to Yuna, okay? And we get an ether. My man loves himself some Yuna, but who doesn't? Why do? For days. Is there anything? So what about you? I won't cry. I won't. Yeah. Nothing at the end. Hopefully this scene, you know, it won't take too long so we can get get back to the real stuff. Oh, they're all super sad. Nice little pan off. Oh, with the little tree too. Cool. I I make some games myself, and I just love seeing good work being done. <laughs> and I feel like we have a decent um we have like a decent amount of cutscene to get through real quick. You know, it is what it is. Oh, or do we? No? Okay, so we are going to attack this guy. Who? Yeah. I mean, if someone did this to me, I would throw them overboard. My man straight does, like, a back handspring off of him. Or whatever that is. Then we just... We're just straight up monkeying around. We find the dress. Stop real quick, and then we get caught. <laughs> Up to no good. He's just all about the boobies. It's true. He's in there. I mean, we're kind of a we're kind of G, but we're super rude. Just. Jumping over people. Whatever, dude. Alright, so. Now that we've made it. Let us go down into the brig. The brig? The br I think the brig is... That's boat jail, right? Ooh, those fascinating clothes you're wearing. We have a waka here, the 13th. Yeah! Filthy, filthy. These won't sell. All me names, not a waka. Don't look like you got much money, either. Rude. I've no business with you. Out of me way. Who do you think you are? Awaka the 23rd. The 23rd. Extraordinary. Oh, he's the 13th. Wow. Awaka the who? Don't know me? Well, not many do. Not yet. Okay. So. Save time. Alright, guys. We have made it onto the boat. We are heading towards Kilika Island. 
and we will be calling it an episode here. We're on the SS Leaky. If you guys did enjoy the episode, leave a like, guys. It's down there in your description. Not that hard to do. We all have mouses, mices, words, and things like that. Leave something nice. Also, click, click, click the bell and subscribe and join the squad. We have a bunch of games. We have Final Fantasy X. We have Dot Hack Mutation. We have Legend of Legea 2, Dual Saga, Dragon Ball Z, Legend of the Super Saiyan, um, Odin Sphere, Salt and Sanctuary, Quack Shot, Super Mario World. We have One Day Let's Play Retro Gaming Challenges where we'll take a retro game and beat it in one sitting. I promise you guys it will come eventually. It's only a matter of me getting a good four or five hours to myself. Will that ever happen? I'm not sure. Um, I also don't like leaving my systems on for that long, but we'll figure that out. Guys, press that button. Join and subscribe. Also, press the share button. Share it on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, Twitch, wherever you can share it. Your friends, take out an ad in the paper. You know, do all that stuff. Go online. So in the gamer, the real stuff in the gamer, we're out here. We have videos coming every other day. Get the word out. Let's get this going. We're having a lot of fun. Um, I still need to know, where am I taking Kamari, guys? I have to know. If we're, we're probably just going to take him down um, Waka's because it's the most uh, default route for me. It's the easiest route for me. Um, he crushes it every time. So, yeah, guys. That's an episode. Next episode, we will do all the things on the SS Leaky, and we will land in Kilika, depending on how long all the cutscenes take and all the fighting. We do have two bosses to go through while we are here on the boat, so we'll go through that next episode. But this is Stone the Gamer signing out. I hope everyone has a great rest of the day, and I will see you in the next video. Later, y'all.